One of the most disabling complications of type 2 diabetes is diabetic neuropathy or nerve damage. For the most part, diabetes isn't a painful disease until complications set in. Therefore, many people go on for years with high blood sugar and don't even know it. It usually isn't until you've had diabetes for some time that you experience this complication. In fact, many doctors have told me that their patients can often tell when their blood sugar is high because they start to experience diabetic nerve damage type symptoms. So in some cases, it's a signal. The purpose of this video is to give you the ins and outs as well as some encouragement on managing this complication as well as managing type 2 diabetes. When your blood sugar gets too high, this damages the nerves in your body. This is referred to as diabetic neuropathy. High blood sugar levels also damage your blood vessels and reduce blood flow to your nerves. This starves them and they can't get oxygen and nutrients that they need to survive. High blood sugar also reduces their ability to fire signals. About half of all people with diabetes have some form of nerve damage. And it usually presents in a number of ways. No two people are alike. Here are some of the most common burning, shooting pain, stabbing pain, sharpness or stinging, numbness, tingling, loss of sensation, and abnormal reflexes. This usually begins in the feet and spreads upward and adds to the problem of foot damage and ulcers on the feet because you can't feel if you have a cut or infection. And you don't have a good sense of positioning with your feet which can also lead to damage. As diabetes gets worse, so does the damage to the nerves. And as I mentioned, reduced blood flow results in damage to the nerves as well as ulcers and ultimately in severe later stages amputations. But this doesn't have to happen. Here are a few ways to treat and reduce diabetic nerve damage. Keep your blood sugar levels in normal ranges. If you keep your blood sugar in normal ranges, you can see results in as little as a couple of weeks. Do this for years and you will see more improvements as your nerves heal. All the more reason to closely control your blood sugar. I don't think there is a food in this world that is worth eating if you can't feel your toes. Or if you experience pain from eating it. Note, according to the ADA, by just reducing your A1C by 1%, you reduce your risk to diabetic complications such as nerve damage by up to 37%. Exercise. This is great for controlling your blood sugar. And it helps improve circulation. Medication. There are numerous medications out there. The problem with medication is they can be like a band-aid. Sure you may feel better temporarily, but damage may still be being done. I believe it's always best to get to the root of the problem, which is your blood sugar. Alpha Lipoic Acid Alpha Lipoic Acid is a powerful antioxidant and in studies, when given intravenously, it has been shown to be very effective at improving diabetic nerve damage. You can pick this up in the supplement form at your local health food store. Prior to using any of this material, please consult with your physician. For more information on naturally controlling type 2 diabetes, please visit my website, diabetesdietcares.net. Now, 